Hey everybody, this is Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I want to share with you some things that have happened to me in the past that are a little bit frustrating and you might not know how to deal with them. You ever had that moment when you're like, yes, I've got everything done, they're all in boxes, all I need to do is print my labels. And then you come to this screen, which you're used to seeing, which shows where everything is going to go. You scroll down, you put in more than one SKU per box, and then you have upload file and skip box information. But you're like, wait a minute, where is the web form? And no matter what you do, you restart your... Um, now, this has happened to me where I can just close my whole internet browser, reopen it back up, and then the web form does appear. But I have had times where that does not occur and I still get just these two options. So I do not want to pay 15 cents per item because I want all the profit I can. And when I'm sending orders of uh, 200 items, I'm not paying 15 cents for every item. So I go to the upload file. This is another way that you can include box contents without using the web form or if your uh, browser glitches out and you can't use the web form. A lot of times this happens if you go to input your information and your expiration date boxes don't pop up. Do not put any numbers in if you do not see expiration dates, if you need to put expiration dates in for health and beauty medications or food items. If you're not sending anything with an expiration, expiration date, then don't even worry about it. Go ahead and put your information in. So you can click this upload file box. You'll click more than one SKU per box and then um, select a pack list file format. Now there's two different ones you can choose from. I currently don't have Excel on my computer, um, but you can use the Excel template and other people do uh, show you how to do that. I use the tab delineated template and so I'm going to leave it there because I've already done it and I don't want to mess this one up. I have two total boxes and then you're going to click generate pack list template. Now you're going to wait a few minutes and then just underneath this will be um, in gray download your generate pack list. When you do that you're going to download basically um, a WordPad document. It'll pop up right here. As you can see, I've got a download down here. And what I normally do is click this box and then I show in folder where it's shown up. Now, almost always it'll come up in some sort of a download folder. Once I um, click on that, then I can right click and open with WordPad is what you want to open it with, okay? When you open it with WordPad, this is what it looks like. It's kind of a jumbled mess, okay? But once you open it up, you're going to want to highlight all of this. Then you're going to click copy. And then you close this window. Close this window. And then you're going to want to go to Google Sheets. Google Sheets is the easiest way to do it. And it's the way that you can get around having to purchase Excel for your um, computer. So I'm going to open up this and basically just type in Google Sheets just like um, I was Googling it. Once I do that, it's going to um, take me to the screen where I can find Google Sheets. This will be the what you want to look for, www.google.com Sheets. Once you click this, it's going to take you to the main home page of Google Sheets. You're going to want to click Go to Google Sheets. Now, if you are not signed in under your Google account, it'll ask you to do that, but I am already signed in. Then you're going to click to Go to Google Sheets. Once you click that, you're going to want to start a blank one. Okay, sorry if I'm going too fast, but you can pause me and rewind me. Uh, you're going to start a blank one. Um, once you click blank, it basically brings you to what looks like an Excel spreadsheet. Now, remember, we cut and copied that WordPad document, and so I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. Once you're opened up into your Google Sheets, you're going to basically click in this number one box A. You're going to right click and click paste. Okay. Once you do that, then whatever was in the Word document is now formatted into the Google Sheets. Now, it looks like a jumbled mess, but let me give you a little bit of organization to it. This is your shipment ID and all the information that goes with your shipment ID. If you scroll this out, like drag my section B here, I just basically made B larger. It does not change the, the length of any of the other ones. But if you look, this is these are all your items that you have per, uh, put in your shipment. 
And so once you do that, you can keep it big or small, whatever you like to do. This um, column C, disregard, it's just the ASIN number, you don't need it. So I always make it real small. The same thing with D, don't need it. E, you disregard it. I mean, do not delete anything in these columns. You'll need this, need them later, but you don't need to look at them right now because this is just all the information that's on your shipment, okay? And um, it's stuff that Amazon needs to know, but you don't need to know. Okay, letter J is the one that we need to be concerned about. So letter B is the name of our item. Letter J is the quantity that we have, okay? Now normally these numbers are not filled in. K is usually completely blank, but this is my saved copy after I finish inputting all of my information. So um, letter K is box number one for me. And um, letter L is anything that needs an expiration date. If it says not needed, it's not needed. Um, and then letter M is box two then letter N will be the expiration date for anything in box two. And if you have more than two boxes, letter O will be box three, P will be the expiration date, Q will be box four, and so on. So that's um, one way to uh, fill in all your information. So I basically inputted all of the things that I need. So I've got six of these in box one, one of these in box one. This was... Um, a medication so I had to put the expiration date in there and then now this one here I have four of them but it's not in box one it is in box two so that's why I put the number four over there same thing with this item here now um, if you're not sure exactly how to include the expiration date you can scroll this letter L out and it tells you expiration date month month day day year year for whatever reason it keeps jumping me to my 2017 and doing four for the year but it accepted it just fine so if you can't remember how to do something, all you have to do is just spread that out. Um, also, if you spread these out, um, it tells you right here, this is your shipment order. See if you look up here, FBA 44TT VTD, that's exactly what it says here. And then it um, says 001. Now if I go over to M here, it'll say 002. So if you forget what box you're on, like let's say you've got... 15 boxes that will help you to keep it all organized now once you have everything that you have inputted in here you're gonna want to go down to the very very bottom one okay you're gonna click it and then you're you're gonna basically well I clicked over here but you're gonna basically uh, highlight all of this so you're gonna go all the way back up to where it shows you your shipment ID and I make sure that I am just highlighting this then you're gonna hit copy and once you have that all copied, um, you can go back to your WordPad document that you originally opened that looks like a complete jumbled mess. So let me see if I can find my WordPad there. Here's my WordPad document. And then what I'm gonna do is hit uh, my right click and then hit paste. And then I put, uh, basically it's got everything in there with the proper numbers. Then you're going to do file, save as, save it um, basically under the same name. So I save it in the same place with the exact same name. When I click save, it's gonna say it already exists. Do you wanna replace it? Yes. Once I do that, then I can go back to my seller central. I put in my, my box weight here for my two boxes, and then I'm going to choose the file so you will choose the file and go to the document where it's already um, under your downloads where you saved it. Click upload now. Once it done, once you click upload now, it should refresh the page. After you do that, you can click to refresh status if it's a large order, um, and it will show status pending. Now, once you're done, this is what you want to see. You want to see number of records processed by this request. So I'm going to click refresh and see how many. Okay, status, once I clicked refresh, basically it took this file and it's putting it into um, the Amazon information. So once I did that, it said status done because a lot of time has passed. Now there have been times where I, I, number of records processed, 28, and let's say it'll say three errors. Well, a lot of times it's because you forgot to put the expiration date in or you put the wrong quantity in. Like you ha might have four, but there's actually, you only listed three. And so um, all you have to do is go back to your Google spreadsheet, 
check it over, make sure you're good. So don't close your Google Sheets when you're done. But what you want to see is number of records processed, 28 records. Now, why does it say 28? If I scroll all the way up to the top of this page, it's because I have 28 SKUs. I actually have 81 units in this order, but 28 SKUs. So I have 20, 28 SKUs, correct. Number of errors, zero, which means I did everything right. Number of records that were successful, 28. Perfect. Then once you get that done, then you can just go right back through all your regular stuff. So I'm going to calculate my box uh, prices. It's going to cost me $20. And then you just move on and go through everything like you normally would. Um, print your box labels, agree to the terms and conditions, complete your shipment, and you're good to go. So if you ever can't find the web form, that's the long drawn out process of putting your packing list in. But once you've done it a few times, it gets really, really easy and um, you'll be able to understand what you're doing. All right. Hope this helps. And remember in the end, Jesus wins.